If you guys are looking for the cheapest and most reliable coins on the market, make sure to head over to utnice.com. You're going to click on FIFA 21 right here. Choose your platform you're buying coins on. Choose the amount of coins you'd like to purchase. Click buy now and then put in the discount code CHIEF for 6% off your order. Now let's go ahead and let's get right into this video. What's up guys, it's Feev Chief here and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today we've got for you some more insane trading methods that are going to help you make a ton of coins on FIFA 21. Now if you are enjoying the content or you are new around here, I ask that you guys do hit that subscribe button. We're going to try to hit 10,000 subscribers by the end of FIFA 21, so it would mean a lot if you did subscribe. And then make sure to check out all the other links in the description like Twitch for all my daily live streams, Discord for more trading advice and investments, and then all sorts of other things down there as well. And with that said, we can go ahead and jump right into these trading methods. So guys, we got two methods for you today, a couple ways to do both ones. So make sure to stick around to see how to make the most coins. And while we jump into this first one, please hit that like button right now, press the thumbs up. It helps me out a ton. Now, our first filter here is going to be very, very simple. We're going to be looking at silver Argentinian players. And if we take a look at the price of these cards, as you can see, they're basically all selling for 1,300 coins a piece. Now, maybe you can call it 1,200 if you would like. Now, the reason for this is for icon swaps, you need to play squad battles games with both a silver squad and an Argentinian squad. So people want to do these at the same time by using silver Argentinians which is why these are all basically this expensive right now. So when I pick these up, I try to get them for 900 coins or less. Now, sniping, I find to be very, very difficult on these cards. It seems like there's a lot of people trying to pick these up. So where I like to go with it is do bidding. And there's a couple different ways to do bidding here. So we can jump into that and kind of show you guys how. Now the first method, it is obviously just gonna be go through, bid the lowest amount you can, on all these cards see what you're able to win and then just move forward so if i go through and just bid on all these cards that expire within like the next minute two minutes something like that and then basically i'll go back to my transfer targets here keep an eye on these cards and try to win them for 900 coins or less this is just a card i won before the video so i'm going to try to win these for the cheapest price possible now this is the first method of bidding that you can go for now this one it's a little more tedious in terms of keeping up with your bids making sure you're you know bidding on all these cards as much as possible when people outbid you which is why i kind of prefer the next method which may get you less profit per card but you'll end up winning so many cards that it will actually pay off. And it also depends. You could try both of these methods, see what's working best for you at the moment, and just kind of rock with that. Now, in terms of cards that get higher bids on them, like these two guys have a 900 and a 1,000 coin bid on them. A lot of times with cards, cards like this, I check the prices because some of these cards, these silvers go for a lot more than others. Like maybe this guy, since he has 91 pace. No. So like you'll find with like certain strikers and whatnot, the cards will be going for like 2000 coins or so or something crazy like that. So you can actually bid a little bit higher on certain cards, which is something to keep in mind. But yeah, go through, bid on as many cards as you can so that you're able to pick up. So this is the first method. We picked up a card here for 400, a card here for 300. And then before the video, obviously, like I mentioned, I got this guy for 800 coins. And what I like to mention always with these bidding methods is check the price of the card you're listing up. A lot of times different cards go for different prices and you can actually squeeze some more coins out of it. Now these all look like they're going to be that like minimum 13 1500 or so but i made 500 on the first card made 900 on that card and then i'm gonna make a thousand on this card so just like that we've made 2400 coins and we get another card here for 900 and a lot of times these strikers go for a decent amount this guy doesn't have a great card so yeah we'll list him 1300 get another 400 coins so we just made 2800 coins right there so that's our first bidding method is just going to be to go through and bid on all of those guys for basically as cheap as possible and see how cheap you can win them now the next method which is an interesting one some people might not like but i'm a huge fan of is basically you can just go through 
and bid 900 on every card. Regardless of what they're going for right now, you can go through, bid 900 a card. And what this is going to do is this is going to make it so that you don't have to go keep going to your transfer targets and continuously bidding on these cards. You can just go through non-stop bidding 900 on these cards and you just keep moving and then after you've bid maybe you go through you just bid on 50 items because that's the maximum you could do at once you bid on 50 items then you go back through check prices list the items up and then you do it again so this basically gets you a lot more cards and again like i mentioned before you might end up getting less profit per card but you can end up winning so many more cards. It's actually wild. Because you're not sat there just like, you bid 450, the person you're bidding with bids 500. Then you bid 550 and they bid 600. You don't waste time doing that. You're going to go through, bid at a price you're happy bidding at. And we know all these cards go for minimum like 1200 to 1300 So I'm still making coins on all these. If you really wanted to, you could go through and bid 1000 on every single card. And you'd still be making decent profit over 100 coins a card selling at 1200 after tax which is incredible so yeah just go through you bid on all of these and now my coins have gone up i want to see are we getting outbid on these cards or what's the deal here so again, we're winning some of these, getting outbid on others. So if you really, really wanted to go for it, bid 1,000 on every card. I mean, I should probably just do that anyway. I'll show you guys that, but we're going to win quite a few cards for 900. So you could go through, bid 1,000 on every single card and basically win every card. And you know you're able to sell these for 1,200 a piece. So regardless, you're making, and they'll sell for 1,300 a piece here easily. So regardless, Regardless, you're making 300 coins a card if you're bidding a thousand coins on these. So let me do that as well, just to give you a quick example. So you just go through and bid 1,000 on every single card. And basically, like I mentioned, it's just quicker. You're not sitting there in your transfer targets. You're winning more cards. You're listing more cards up. Basically, the coins are just are just going out and coming in much, much quicker. You're not sitting there playing about much simpler here it's what i prefer is just doing this mass bidding type thing i just i get annoyed when i'm sitting there getting outbid for for 10 minutes straight from people bidding 50 coins more than i bid 50 coins more it just it gets boring so you can just go through bid a thousand a piece on these bada bing bada boom and then we go back over to our transfer targets and as you can see we're winning cards left right and center now for a thousand coins a piece it's that easy and again we picked up quite a few at 900 you can try out different prices maybe you start out you bid 800 on every card if you're winning the cards there then just keep winning 800 you want to go as low as possible with this method where you're still winning as many cards as you can so let's kind of go through and see what kind of profit we've made made on these cards so this guy's going to be 1300 but that's 400 coins right there now basically you can kind of get an, an idea of what cards may go for more based off of in-game stats basically cards with better stats are going to go for more coins is is basically just how it's going to go but a majority of them You'll just be able to sell on for that 1300 and get easy, easy coins. And like you can see here, when I sell at 1300, I lose 65 on tax. So even if I win cards for 100 coins, I'm making 235 coins after tax a card. And if you could win five of these a minute, let's just say four a minute to be conservative, that's a thousand coins a minute. Just free coins for bidding on these for a thousand and just winning every single card. That's how easy it is. You're getting a thousand coins a minute, all of a sudden that's 60k an hour. You do that, maybe you can sit there and play two hours a day. You're making 120k a day off of doing practically nothing. See, like this guy's gonna be thought he'd be a little bit more expensive as cheap as they're listed i'm just gonna list these all 1300 honestly it's <laughs> i'm not that fussed for coins on this account but on our new trading to glory account is where i'd really kind of uh sit down and check all the prices of these and again if you want to see the trading to glory account we're streaming it basically every day on twitch so make sure to go check it out Make sure to go check it out. But you can see literally all of these cards sold already for 1300 It is that easy, boys, to make coins on this game. Make sure to check this method out. It is unreal. But guys, I think that's going to be it for this video. Wait. Before we go, check out the Twitch. 
check out the Discord, all sorts of trading advice like this. If you're not in there, what on earth are you doing? But guys, that's going to be it for this video. If you did enjoy it, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video.